Alright guys, Black Wars here and welcome back to another video and today we're back on Pro Cycling Manager 2018 for the second stage of the 2019 Presidential Cycling Tour of Turkey between Tekeda and Echabat, um, 188km with two uh, slight hills and uh, a hilly finish that shouldn't be that hard uh, but will probably rule out some of the sprinters. Um, if you haven't seen the previous episode, please go ahead and watch it so that you will understand what happened. GC wise and um, without further ado let's just jump in and uh, see what we can do with Delco Marseille and we are back in Tekirda for the start of the second stage of the Tour of Turkey uh, last time we were here was for the finish of the first stage which saw the win of Edward Michael Grozu I, I still can't really get over it but you know what we'll, we'll do with it we'll deal with it uh, yeah massive win by Grozu who's on a plus three today so there's the good chance that he keeps his jersey um, in uh, in Echabat. I'm not sure about the pronunciation of the, uh, of the Finnish uh, town, uh, so apologize on that. But uh, yeah, we're gonna put all our riders to the front as always. Uh, usually, I'm not someone who controls the race when I'm leading uh, a GC. So I mean, also I don't think anyone expects Delco Marseille to actually do something. We're gonna pace. Uh, we're gonna send someone in a break. Hopefully he won't be blocked by Carol, uh, Top Sport Vlanderen and Neri Sotoli like yesterday. Here's one Carol. Here's one Top Sport Vlanderen. Uh, okay. Three men, five, six. See? It's doing it again. We, we've got the same boys as yesterday. Van Empel, Marengo, they were already here. Um, Peloton that's not keen on letting a breakaway go. The two Neri Sotoli guys are about to get co-op. Uh, by a peloton led by Yevgeny Gidik. But uh, we seem to have a slight gap. Alright, let's see who's in the break. Uh, despite the massive pace uh, from Marenko and Van Empel, we have Moreno de Pau, the leader of the uh, mountain uh, classification, Remy Rochas for Delco Marseille, John Aberasturi for Caoral, Moreira for Caoral, Ruiz for W52 Porto, with his teammate uh, Gustavo Cesar Veloso. And just behind Van Empel and Marengo for Neri Sutoli, uh, who will probably have a bit of a gap on the peloton. But I don't really know if they really want to go into the break, or if it's just a weird uh, AI strategy. Alright, set rep. Um, the breakaway crumbled uh, and then go back again. Uh, we just rejoined with um, the what was previously a three-man group with Aberasturi, Pacioni and Moreno de Pau. Uh, we have barely any yellow left with uh, Remy Rochas and the gap on the peloton is not enough so I don't even think I'm going to be able to like, do something in the break uh, because I'm just weak. Um, but if we can try and can, like keep this until the KOM, which I'm not confident at all, uh, it could be interesting I guess. Okay, uh, we're two kilometers away from the KOM and everyone has been dropped in this group. Um, like Petuni dropped, Depau dropped a while ago, and Aberasturi is about to get dropped by Remy Rochas. So good work by our boy right there, uh, who's about to take maximum points on the summit of this um, of this KOM, which puts his puts him sorry now on well, four points. Yeah, four points, which means I am the provisional leader of the mountain classification. Uh, so that's all good. We I didn't expect to do that, especially considering the yellow I had um, when I rejoined the breakaway. A breakaway that is now about 1 minute 20 ahead of a peloton led by uh, Juan Molano for UAE and Mark Cavendish for Dimension Data. Right, the breakaway has been co- uh, yeah, There's 1 kilometer left in this, uh, in this climb. I'm gonna try my best to come at the front, but uh, I think Chia uh, has another idea in mind, the uh, rider of Manzana Postobon, even though we're on the, we've been blocked, so thank you very much for that, uh, Kia. But uh, we'll be on 8 points, which means tonight we are going to be uh, wearing the red jersey of the mountain leader, which is good. We've done our first objective of the day, which was to get the mountain jersey. Uh, now on to the next one, uh, which is winning. Alright, we're closing in. On the finish in uh, Ejiaba, we are going to pace with Raminas Navardoskas, Javi Moreno, Mauro Fineto, Eduard Grozu and in his wheel, our leader for uh, the GC, Delio Fernandez. 
we've asked Remy Rocha to give uh, the team some water. I don't even, I don't think it's going to be able to do uh, his task, but we'll, we'll lay him off. He had a, he had a solid day. Um, we're about six kilometers six now from the end. Uh, the climb starting in about two kilometers now, for uh, for us. Uh, a five man train might be a bit too much now that I think about it. Um, as we still have five men in a very, very good shape, um, with less than five kilometers to go, it's more going to be—it's probably going to be more of a sprint rather than an actual uh, like a uh, hill. No, not hill. Uh, like an actual train, uh, like a sky train, for example. Ryabushenko Restrepo makes uh, his first move. Javi Moreno now decides to pace. Alongside uh, Jonathan Restrepo, Rabyushenko, Valerio Conti, one of the massive losers of yesterday, I think. Alright, we're gonna move with Mauro Finet. Oh my god, Caleb Ewan. Okay. Well, I didn't see that coming. Uh, but the win today is for Caleb Ewan. Second position is for Eduard Grozu. Third place, Raul Alarcon. Uh, Delio Fernandez and Fe uh, Felix Groschardner. To complete the top 5, Caleb Ewan had like so much energy at the start, he just gained like such a massive gap, couldn't do anything. Uh, but right, fair. A win for Caleb Ewan, we take second position with Grozu and mainly we keep our jersey. And it's a win for the OZ Caleb Ewan, the sprinter of Lotus Sudal. Uh, second position for Edward Mikel, Grozu, Raul Alacon, Dele Fernandez, Groschartner, Evan Hoffman, Ben O'Connor, Mauro Finetto, Sam Bennett and Jonathan Restrepo. Is your top 10 for today's stage uh, the finish in Ejabat, who didn't prove to be as difficult as I thought it would have been? Uh, but GC wise, we keep the jersey. Uh, six seconds now over Caleb Ewan, 10 over Jakobsen. Deli Fernandez uh, makes an appearance in sixth position with Fineto 8. Um, the mountain leader is now Rémi Rochas uh, after his very good day uh, in the break and in the peloton today. Points leader is obviously going to be Edouard Michel Grosu, that doesn't change. Best strong rider is now Caleb Ewan, uh, who takes the jersey of Fabio Jacobson's shoulders. And the best team is now Burgers BH. Alright, uh, so here's your top 10 for today's stage. Uh, nice 12th position from Cyril Bart, the rider from Escadi uh, Country Basque. Um, let's see, is there anyone massive dropped? Nope. The leader of Burgos has been dropped, Victor Angelotti, Langelotti, sorry, from Monaco. Uh, Miranda de Power has been robbed, that's really disappointing. Uh, but yeah, that was it for today's stage. Um, tomorrow is a sprint stage between Chanakale and Edremit. 150 kilometers, rather flat towards the end. Uh, and by rather flat, I, I mean absolutely flat. Uh, so it will probably be a bit boring. Don't even think I'm going to be able to win it, but who knows? Gr Grozu is a man of surprise. Um, in order to see this video, please consider subscribing to the channel uh, if you haven't already that would really help me out uh, also leave a like on the video comment down below if there's anything you want to say uh, follow me on my social medias the links are in the description down below uh, in the description there's also the link for the database I'm using the world DB version 3.01 the version uh, just before Paris-Roubaix uh, so if you do that after the update some stats might be a bit different um, but yeah I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you if you did, as I said, like the video, subscribe if you haven't already. I've been Blackwell. It's been an absolute pleasure talking to you today, guys. And goodbye.